there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Bamberg, Germany and today I'm going to give you a little lesson in German brand names. Now you may say, Mark, dude this is a travel channel, why, why are you talking about German brand names? Well, when you come to Germany you might want to talk about how you have your Volkswagen car or you love your Harry Bow, um, you know, gummy bears and they'll be like, what? Harry? Is that a guy? What are you talking about? And, and, and what, what, what's a... a Volkswagen? What? Like Germans will act very confused, and maybe they are confused, when they hear a German word pronounced incorrectly. Okay, so I don't want you to confuse your German friends when you try to tell them that you really like your Volkswagen, or you really like your Porsche, or you really like, you know, your Haribo candy, right? So we're going to go through some of those words, and I guess we should start with the cars, because that's probably one of the most biggest ones people like to talk about when they come here. And, you know, you have, you know, BMW, right? And, and, and I'm sorry, my German friends, I'm going to say it the American way first, and then tell them how to say it in German. So, so, so close your ears, okay? BMW. Okay, well here in Germany they don't say BMW. Well they do, they do say B, M, and W, but they say the letters like it is in German. BMW. BMW. Okay, you're like, yeah, BMW, BMW, yeah, BMW. Oh, okay. And you're like, well what does BMW stand for? What does BMW stand for? Well Americans, oh, it's uh, Bavarian Motor Works. Yes, that's a very good translation. It's Bayerische Motorwerken. That's how it's actually said. If you're like, oh yeah, but here it's BMW, not BMW. Okay, and then you might say, well, I have a Volkswagen. Well, Volkswagen, remember here in Germany, a V actually makes an F sound. Okay, so it's Volks, and then the W doesn't make a W sound, it makes a V sound. I know it's confusing. So it's not Volkswagen, it's Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Oh, that's one I actually see a lot of people get confused on. I uh, dated a German girl for a number of years and she had a Volkswagen, uh, Volkswagen, and she's like, what? Huh? I'm like, yeah, VW. She's like, VW? the hell's a VW? I'm like, oh, well, how do you say it in German? And I put it to her, she's like, oh, VW. So they don't actually say it all like Volkswagen all the time. They just call it VW, just like we call it a VW. Oh, also, it's not a VW Beetle. It's a, it's a Kefa here. It's what they call the VW Beetle. Okay, so just an FYI at that. And then I guess you want to get your sports car. This is when we kind of, half the people I know pronounce it correctly, half don't. You know, some people say Porsche. Here it's actually Porsche. Okay, so you say Porsche instead, but I have friends that say Porsche in the U.S., but Porsche is it right. It's Porsche. That's how you say it in German. Another car brand we say wrong, where in the U.S. is Audi. So in the U.S. we call it Audi a lot of times, but it's not Audi, it's Audi. Think like, ow, I hurt myself. Audi. That's how the Germans call it, Audi, okay? But I think this isn't really a brand name, but I think it's something you should know, because you know when you go get beers in the U.S. and you get the big, huge beer steins of beer, you don't ask for a stein of beer here, because stein means stone and it comes from like stein krug which would mean like stoneware so actually you call it a krug is that big huge uh, beer you might see here okay like that big here big huge jar so it's not a beer stein it's a beer krug so just FYI for that one, but let's go back and talk just about some other brands. Sports, we all love sports. We always, we get our, you know, our, our Adidas soccer jerseys, they celebrate Germany in the World Cup. We're gonna win another one, I'm sure. Well, that's another thing. They don't say Adidas here. It's from here, did you know? Adidas is from here. It's not a division of Nike, no. Adidas is its own thing. It's Adidas. Adidas. It's named after a guy. Yeah, Adidas. Yep, not Adidas. Adidas. All right, so you have that one there because that'll throw them off too because that's when you're talking sports and stuff, so that'll get them. Then this is what I, I would say wrong just to annoy my friends, and that's Aldi's. We're going to go to Aldi's. Do you go to Aldi's? Because I like going to Aldi's. In Germany, it's not called Aldi's. It's Aldi because the thing is, Germans are like, wait, there's not even an S on it. It just says Aldi on there, and you're saying Aldi's? No, guys, if you want to, that's one of my things. If you want to upset a German, call it Aldi's. I'm going to Aldi's to go to the store. Like, what, what, where does this S come from, right? So it's Aldi, okay, so you know that. Another one, a very popular thing in the US, you know, if you had aspirin when you were a kid, you had bear aspirin, right? Bear aspirin. It's not bear aspirin, Baya. Baya, it means Bavarian, right? Baya, that's what it's actually how you say it here in Germany. Now I will say, we do say one word correctly in the US, and it's not really a brand name, but Gesundheit, when you sneeze, hey, we do that one well, we can do Gesundheit, okay? That means healthiness, by the way. When you sneeze, you say that afterwards. And then of course, there's the kid one, Harry Bow. You know the Harry Bow gummy bears? Yeah, Germans will not understand when you say Harry Bow. It's called Haribo. Haribo, my kinderful. Yeah, Haribo makes children happy, you know, and adults too. <laughs> Actually, even so. And that's one of those things that's kind of funny because you'll see the Germans be like, what? Well, no, I love, the, I love those Haribo gummy bears. 
Oh, Haibo. So, so do be aware of that. And there's some other little ones too. Like they don't, you know, Fanta, as we say it in the U.S., Fanta. It's actually originally from Germany. It's Fanta. So Fanta, so you have that one. So those are some fun words. I wanna make sure you know how to say them correctly when you come here to Germany, so you don't throw your German friends off. Anyway, I wish you all the best. I'll say bye, or Auf Wiedersehen, or tschüss, from here in Bamberg, Germany.